Algae chips. That's poo. Oh. Get the fuck. We make the strings louder. David. This is like an Audi cup holder. No, that's a super cup holder. No, this is a super cup holder. Where the fuck did he go? So we found one of the dope the dope air vents that like opens and closes and shit. We found the other piece that like, went over. like wobbles and damn it. Look at that, like opens, closed. There's a cup holder somewhere. It's, oh, it's kinda right dope. Here. I don't think that's the super cup holder. Well, this, that this, other one is the... This is a fucking Audi 1-2. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe Audi-inspired cup holders. How about that? So we have. So what do we have so far? We have do we have both of the, the headrest things. We got one of these guys. We got the door. <laughs> Uh-oh. So this is the keep pile. Kind of the keep pile. This might be keep. Um, but I got one door, one door mirror, the glove box. Bunch of these little trim things. Um, when uh, initially it was supposed to have the actual like floor carpet, but this turned out to be just the the back carpet. Uh, it's got these weird door panels that are kind of you know somebody tried to do them, so they they look decent almost kind of from the top, but then under like on the bottom they're just kind of eh. But I might be able to peel peel some of that adhesive off. And just leave them like stock door cards. It came with an extra tranny, a weather stripping, um, some brake calipers, some stuff like that. We set the dash in here, but uh, and then over here, over here on the uh, the steering column, the splines are kind of goobered up a little bit, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to get a steering wheel on there or not. I wonder what calipers these. I think these are just the NA ones. And they're kind of stuck, but yeah, it had a headlight that was all broken. And we zip tied the this door on here because I need to get hinges on the handle to this guy. So this one has a door handle, but this this door has a glass in it. The other door doesn't have a glass in it, so I need to find the front glass. I have the the two side. Did you find the two side glass? Oh, they're right there, huh? So we have the two side the little quarter glasses, and then need the rear glass. No spoiler. Headlights, tail lights, bumper, all that random shit. Diff, probably some axles, a bunch of other stuff. So we kind of dug uh, most of the shit out of the interior. Here's some Bullshit. brake calipers, which I'm not sure what. Two point five. I don't know. They're Nissans. Fucking two point five. Um, it's got some wiring in it. it smells like. Uh, what 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 does it smell like? Let's describe the smell to them. Kind of, kind of like, like wet socks or like I don't know. It not. It just it doesn't. It kind of smells like old car that sat outside underneath a tarp, but was like moist inside. But so not 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 moldy, but like not. And then uh, it popped the little cap over here off the the trunk or off of the fuel thing, and there's a there's a leaf in there. Yeah, see the leaf. But yeah, they took the. Um, you know, previous previous people they yeah. they took took this thing the little lid up, off of it. So so that sucks. Gonna but yeah, it's definitely gonna be a, a project. Holy shit! So yeah, here's kind of a random pile of stuff. This is kind of the keeping pile. Um, there's the throwaway pile. Here's some. We got all the weather stripping out. Here's I guess there's the tranny tunnel to, for an automatic. I don't know. I don't know why that was in there. Maybe they were planning on swapping them or something. But two axles. I'm not sure whether that, those go to here or not. Um, sway bar. Not sure. Those are Volkswagen axles. Yeah, that's what I was looking at. It didn't look. Yeah. It didn't look like a. Oh, yeah. Maybe maybe one of them is. No. Well, they're. I don't know. So these are like some Greddy trust mufflers. I don't know what the hell they go to. Some stripping and then the little air ducts on the side that go go right here. Hey Blake, what do you think of that super over there? 
It's fucking too much work for me, but... <laughs> too much work for, for you? <laughs> Fuck, if you gotta change oil on something, it's too much work for you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's too much... <laughs> change the oil on. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> what, do you <laughs> what do you have to do to this thing? I don't know. Everything. What do I have to do to this thing? What? Just like, Dude, you should just get it running with an engine and tranny and just fucking leave it like this. Do I like, thought about it. Do you like, what does that show, Roadkill or some shit? Where they just like have some angry, like, ratchet ass stuff? So Jesse's giving me ideas. No, so I was kind of thinking, you guys are going to have to let us know Dude, what, what, uh, what you think should happen. Um... Should it be like a, you know, year build where I spend a whole bunch of time and make it all pretty and, you know, no. or should I just slap a damn, uh, slap a damn 2J in it and do like a turbo out the hood with like a fence post and, you know, hey, what do you think? Turbo out the hood with a fence post? Exhaust? I like that Jeep, dude. And, uh, I don't know, I, like it'd be kind of interesting to have like a ratchet, like Supra. And build. Just fucking breaking people off left and right. Yeah, make it like dope and do, fast. You and can do the second in the in the world to all the drive super. No. Oh. The Land dude, Cruiser. But, the Land Cruiser JZ, dude, dude the 4.2. You can just make that dude's GTR so fast he wrecks it and then we can put the drive train. Alright, so it's been a little while since I've actually done, uh, you know, one of the head cam videos. So I'm basically just going around the car checking out, seeing uh, seeing what's here, what's not, what was supposed to be here, what's actually not, you know, like that type of situation. Um, it, uh, so like I said, it was supposed to come with like actual, you know, you know carpet, it was supposed to come with carpet. Um, the only carpet it came with was basically the back, like trunk carpet. Um, it was supposed to have uh, different axles. And a subframe out of a SC300, but didn't have a chance to get that out. And uh, so, yeah, this is like an Audi axle. I don't know what axle this one is. It, that might be a super axle, but, you know, so those don't work. That exhaust thing, that's just random, whatever. I don't know what this is. Um, so it's basically missing, you know, a little bit more than, than what it was supposed to be missing, you know, and it was... You know, kind of, kind of a, a far drive, and and that whole situation. So it was like, you know, shit. I'm I'm already here. Um, it, it's super. I mean, it's hard to to find these damn things anyhow, especially at, at afford a, a reasonable price. At uh, you know, for an MK4 Supra, like you know, like when was the last time you guys seen a Supra in this like condition that somebody like wasn't like actively building, but like for sale. So that's why, uh, you know, that's why I still got it. You know, I, when I was out there looking at it, I was tempted. I was, I was like, well, shit, you know. I was like, I could just turn around and go home and, you know, because I wasn't really too pumped. Actually, you know, like actually too pumped about it when I got there. But, um, but yeah, so hopefully, hopefully it all turns out. Um, I'm finding parts here and there. It just kind of sucks that, that some of the stuff wasn't, uh, wasn't actually you know, to the car that was supposed to, that came with the car, you know, like the axles, those aren't to the car. Uh, there's these panels, which I thought, uh, which were supposedly for that, but these are actually to a Camaro. Um, but yeah, so you could see that, that one in there, that one has like a hole cut in it for a cage, because they were going to do a cage in it. Um, and then this whole, you know, like A-pillar section right here, that kind of, kind of really sucks with the, the headliner. Ouch. The headliner's actually to the car, though. You can see where they, like, cut out this whole section here. And, because I'm assuming they were going to, like, try and tuck the cage in it. But, I mean, it, it goes... It goes all the way back to right there. So that's really shitty. Um, but, uh... But, yeah, so it's, uh... You know, this, oh, and the, the hood, you know, it, the original hood, it has a pretty big, pretty big dent in it down there. Um, but, um, but yeah, anyhow, and then the engine bay has all the, the, you know, wire tuck, you know, they were, they were kind of drilling the, or, cut, you know, welding all the holes and stuff shut in it. But, uh, the headliner's actually to it, though, which I, I'm assuming that would have been a, a rare, rare piece to find, especially considering that the hard tops, um, are, are pretty rare. This is actually one of the rarest combinations that you could get, which is uh, NA five-speed hardtop, non-SE. 
So it's just, you know, the normal model. It's not a special edition or anything. So they made 249 of this, uh, which there's only like 12,000 Supers actually made, you know, going by the, the stuff online that I found. Um, so it's a pretty rare combination. Uh, it's actually rarer than a twin turbo six speed um, hard top, which, uh, which are really rare. But you know, based on the on the numbers and stuff. But uh, but you know, that's that's in its stock form. You know, in a five-speed hardtop. Um, you know, obviously, my my plans with this whole thing is to do basically the same thing that's in my drift car, which is uh, two JZ uh, VVTi, this 370Z tranny, um, and and go from there. So I uh, I thought it'd be kind of funny to just take take this thing out of here. And uh, and throw it in the in the super, but it, it's already in here and it, it works works damn good in here. So that's probably staying in there. But uh, essentially, that that's the setup I'm gonna do in this thing. 2JZ GTE VVTi stock turbos for a little bit, maybe. Uh, I might just go ahead and jump the gun and just do the the single turbo likes on this one. Um, I already have a 350Z tranny, the CD009. Um, which is right there. So I already have that. I have a a 1JZ GTE uh, VVTi, and that's actually like the mid sump, rear sump type of deal. So I could rob the oil pan off of that because most of the the 2Js they come with the uh, the front sump, like is in the the drift car. But uh, yeah, I was I was kind of moseying around the shop, and I heard this thing kind of over by my uh, my shelf and then lo and behold this little homie so that's a little that's a little tiger salamander he uh, he just popped up um, just just randomly showed up just started walking across the shop I was like what the hell I've never seen one of these like in here in like the desert you know not in the desert but, but yeah and here's the couple of the remnants of the bits that got cut out um, I mean, so there's actually some pretty pretty thick metal there, um, so I'm not not quite sure what I'm going to do with that situation so far. Um, I was assume I was kind of thinking I could either dimple dye, you know, like get some sheet metal welded in there, and then do like another like layer on the outside with like some dimple dyes or something, and then just kind of make like some little brackets so the actual trim pops into it. Um, but uh, but yeah, so overall goals for this car initially is I don't want it to be uh, like a forever build. I don't want to be building this thing for 10 years. It's not, you know, it's not like, I don't know. I, I just don't want to spend that much time building this car. I want something that I could drive. So and what I want to do is get do the paint body work. Don't, you know, go super crazy show car, you know, on it. But uh, just paint the body work on it, get it running and driving. Um, you know, all the glass and the weather stripping stuff in it, and then piece together the interior as I go. Um, I was figuring it would be better for me to actually just buy a wrecked Supra, like a, like a totaled one, like completely like wadded up Supra, because, it, you know, if I get something that needs a quarter panel, like I'm just going to put a quarter panel on it, you know, because it's, I mean, the, the price of the Supras and, you know, all that. But, uh, but yeah, this is it's going to be a build. It's going to be a pretty long build. But uh, I need to figure out what exactly I'm going to do. Alright, so uh, those of you who know from Ty's Dick S2000, Ty is, is Mr. Nitpick. Um, he, always, uh, he always tries to see the best in things, but, but for the most, most part he doesn't. So <laughs> here we are, Ty. He just got off work. He's all fancy. He started his new job. Well, you're not starting your new job. You're, Monday. He's going to be a sales dick at, uh, at the Subaru place maybe. So. So maybe he's gonna be slanging some Subarus. He just needs the the man bun on the top. What do you think? Dude, this has got way more fucking rust than you said. Hey! So this is the first time Ty's is actually seen. Is this their seen. fucking piece of shit antenna delete? Oh hey bud, be be kind of nice. Ah. Be nice. Oh that that's the wiper delete. That's the antenna delete. Oh, this is the the. You know, the rear turns side marker delete. The side marker delete. Fucking... It's not bad. That's this isn't rust. That that's surface rust. It's not like it's like eaten through and there's holes in it. Well yeah, but what about the floorboard? How many holes in the floorboard? That's... There's like no holes in the floorboard. That's just uh moss. Shit. 
Just fucking that's, rabbit and fucking mouse shit. No, that's algae. That's Was algae. Was it in the fucking ocean or? No, here, do you, want, do you want some algae chips? Look at that. <laughs> algae chips. Yeah, pop the hood. Yeah, what about all this, <laughs> what about all this fucking I didn't even have to surface dust? What is this? That's poo. That's poo. Okay. I feel like there's a... Oh, there's... It's better, dude. Well, yeah, the, uh, when I brought this thing into the shop, I, I brought, like, a whole new, like, species of spider. It's here, so now. It's, now it's all your fault when you get into No, so it, here, pop, pop that again. So this is... They, like, were welding the holes in the, the engine bay. You know, on account of... On if account. you can call it that. So anyhow, Toyota sells this piece right here. This has been cut out. So Toyota sells that for like 75 bucks. So I'm gonna get that. But yeah, they were just, they're welding the hole. So I gotta do some grinding and some some, some yeah. filling and stuff. But you it's- You gotta like take that down and redo it. Just yeah. so you can get it to a point so you can body fill it so it looks decent. No, but watch, check out the, the back side of it. Did it even go all the way through? No, you're, you're gonna love that. Here, watch. Check that out. Get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bud. What's going on there? Well, I, I think it was in some sort of a collision. It was in some sort of front end collision. Well, it wasn't bad though, because it, it kind of pushed this side just down a little. Like, Is that why you have like this fender? That's uh, the only nice piece on this whole car. Isn't from the car. No, oh, half of this isn't from the car. Well, yeah, the only thing that's from the car is the car. So this is from the car. And I think the dash. Well, maybe the dash is from the car. I don't know. Um, it's not even a complete look, yeah, look, at, look at the spider webs. Just, man, Dude, I feel like there's a spider the crawling on me. This whole car just blasted so you can truly see what you're working with. Well, I, it's the, the no. fenders are good. This like, is like, like that's fine. Off. Well, I was gonna have probably the shell. I was gonna have like this back quarter panel. No, you need like all blasted. Of it. Like, you, need, you need all of it. The engine bay. You need all of it. Like all of it. You need stripped so you can just do it from the ground up. So I'm gonna do a frame off restoration on this. Is what is what he wants. That's, I mean, that's Look at this. I put on fucking chassis roller and I just have the whole thing blasted. I don't know. Uh, uh. there's a spider. Yeah, it's a dead spider. That another spider killed. But yeah, oh, it it has the gas door. Every panel it has the gas door. It's fucked up. Well, that's that's a little dent. That's like a. This door is probably the straightest thing, and it's already... Like, no, the other door is. Well, actually, this door probably is, yeah. No, but, uh, yeah, I was I was going to have her... It's already been body work. But, it, I mean, it's not that much body work, though. It's it's not like... I mean, if it was blasted... It's not like, like we're working on, like, a, a 1968 Camaro, and cool. we, we drug it out of a field. I mean, we did drug this out of a field, it but... It will be the same shit. But, uh... What, what you should do is you should have fucking next door blast it so you can truly see, like... Well, I don't Where think I don't think there's that much. Like I, I, I already see it. I see the potential in it. But well, I know no, so potential, but like you, like, you like, give me you give me a, like less than a week, and I got this thing body worked out, and then it's almost ready to spray. Yeah, once it's if why don't you just have it blast it, and then you could I was, see it, I was and then you could probably like, gonna prime, high build it, and then you could body work it, and it would save you. I feel like so much time you won't be hunting as nearly as much body work. Well, yeah, I was gonna have her blasted, then probably do the epoxy, and then do the body work, and then. Uh, and then yeah, but I don't want it to be a forever build. I want I want this thing going, like Dude, soon. You could have it blasted in like a day. You could have it epoxied in like a, a day. day. You it would you could have it like body worked in like a week. two weeks. Two weeks. Well, I could have we'll a, I have a body worked in like a week. Well, we'll like say, less we'll than say, that. We'll like say, we'll ready say, to spray in a week. Yeah, like a week of working. We'll we'll give you two actual weeks. That way you can work on your other shit. Yeah, on account of that, the super thing isn't the only project, you know. God. In the. Dude, the interior I think is fucking worse than the exterior. Well, the interior is the shittiest part about the whole thing, because that that like everything for like it's nice that it has a dash, but it doesn't have anything like else. Like the steering column has rust on it. Yeah, because it was chilling. Like the hub where you put the fucking. Well, yeah, and the and the threads are kind of cobbled on it too. Oh, so. I didn't See, get, I, didn't I just need to sell this thing right here. So anybody who watches my videos, make sure to tell you know, the you know Adam LZ do? to buy that. This is what you, this is how you can I need do to get rid of that. Yeah. I need to get rid of that. This is what you can do to save time, okay? You get this already and body worked. Whole, wholesale that. Wholesale that. Listen. What? Okay, get this already body worked and paint all three the same color. The same no. Color. And then you'll just be done with them all. No. <laughs> Here, my memory you card. My memory those. card's going to run out. I got to I gotta oh, delete yeah, some get shit. Some shit done. Yeah, all right, guys. So that's pretty much uh, it for this little episode of the Supra. 
you guys are going to be probably seeing uh, a lot of this. Maybe not right away, but uh, here shortly. I, uh, I think the next time you guys see this thing, I'll be taking it to getting it, uh, the back part of it sandblasted. You know, at least the, the pieces that have the, you know, the surface rust on them. Kind of up here in the jams, how that, ha how that has all the surface rust on it. Um, get all that stuff blasted. Basically, pull the doors off, pull everything off in the front. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and clean this out a little bit, but basically just have that all blast. It has a little bit of surface rust on it. Um, so that'll just give me a, a nice, you know, a fresh base to start with. And then, uh, and then try to do the body work on it. Uh, I kind of time to, to paint. I, I would like to have this thing painted, you know, the body and everything all, all body worked and, and painted and nice and stuff. So I could start really, really like assembling it because right now even if I get parts it's like I could put them on but I got to pull them right back off um you know I, I had it in my head there for a little bit that I thought it'd be cool to do kind of like a rat rod supra but it's almost winter again um so I figure get it ready for next summer but as long as I get the the paint and the body work done on it then uh then I can really focus on on everything else making it nice so kind of the plan is is two months painted um you know, and that's, you know, kind of finishing the engine bay and then, but yeah, I still need to figure out what color, uh, I thought about black, but there's a lot of black Supras thought about the, the RSP, the Royal Sapphire Pearl, thought that'd be kind of a cool color or, you know, silver or, or something like that. But, uh, yeah, not quite sure. So you guys will be, uh, you know, be sure to let me know in the comments what you think, uh, what color I should paint it and, um, and yeah, uh, be sure. I think I'm gonna try to do at least one video a week on the Supra, hopefully, maybe every two weeks. Um, but, you know, I know there's there's a lot of new guys here, um, you know, for the Supra specifically. So I'll, I'll try to be keeping that updated. Um, but, you know, be sure to stick around, check out my other content. You know, I got plenty of videos of this thing. And, um, you know, I got, I, I really need to get some of these damn projects out of here. This, this Integra that's kind of been in here lingering. Trying to sell the 1J car, but that hasn't really worked. Um, well, it just keeps getting flagged on Craigslist and shit. So if anybody's interested in 1J240, there's a video on that. Um, and the Civic over there, that that's just a super long, long time ago project that, I mean, it's been in here two years and I haven't really touched it. So it's it's time for that thing to go. But I, mean, I hope you guys enjoyed the, the rest of the series. And, uh, you know, if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to the subscribe, check out some of my other videos. And thanks for watching.